Welcome to our guide on creating child policies in Room Raccoon. This tutorial will show you how to set up policies for different age groups, apply seasonal surcharges and ensure compliance with OTA channels. Start by ensuring your OTA channels child policies match those in Room Raccoon. This ensures correct charges for OTA bookings. Navigate to My Property in your Room Raccoon account. Select Surcharge for Children to begin setting up your policy. Click Create Surcharge. Here you'll name your child policy. Use age buckets for naming. For example, four to eight years child. Set the minimum and maximum age for the child policy. Enter four for minimum and eight for maximum as an example. Choose the start and end dates for the policy. Remember that the end date includes the day you have selected. Enter the surcharge amount per night for this child policy. Set up city tax as a percentage or a fixed amount if applicable. Use the add another rule button for different date ranges. Avoid overlapping policies. Instead, schedule them sequentially for clarity and ease of management. If needed, delete a policy using the delete option. But remember, once you have saved, you cannot permanently delete a policy, but you can archive it for future reference. Assign the child policy to specific room categories. This ensures the pricing is available in your booking engine for children. Save your settings and return to the overview to review your policies. Creating a ledger and revenue group for child policies. Next, let's set up a ledger and revenue group for the child policies to track revenue accurately. This is a once-off action and does not need to be repeated once you have set it up. Navigate to Finance, then to Revenue Groups. Create a new revenue group naming it Child Surcharge or Child Policy. Set up a new ledger for child surcharges, including your VAT percentage and code. Link this ledger to your child policy revenue group. Set up a new ledger for child surcharges, including the VAT percentage and VAT code. Go back to My Property, select Add-ons, and link the child surcharge add-on to the ledger and revenue group that you've just created. Click Save. Setting up occupancy limits for room categories. Lastly, define the occupancy limits for each room category, including the limits for adults and children to streamline booking and maintain your standards. Under Categories, manage details for each room, select the total adult and child occupancy limits. Select a fallback child policy for each room category to ensure consistency across OTA channels. And that's it. You've successfully set up your child policies in Room Raccoon. Thank you for following this guide. For more tips and tutorials, keep watching our Help Center.